been a long, long time <laughs> since I've been in school. How about you? Me too. <laughs> Even longer. <laughs> <laughs> so thankfully Heidi has grandkids because that helps us to kind of keep in touch with what's going on in well, school. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Kind of. Yeah, some of them are even out of school now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can, I mean, everybody needs a pencil box, right? Yes, I mean, even, even if you, you're not in school. Yeah, even you need a pencil box. I need a pencil box. And this is awesome because it gives the effect of tie-dye. I know that's not what you call it, but I look at this and I see tie-dye. And that's okay. So, so you get your paint together and you get your glue together and we mix them together and check out what we do. Let's get together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the supplies that you need to make this project. Uh, the wooden box and I picked one that has a little indentation here so that I can fill it up with my my glue and paint and of course you need Aline's original tacky glue in the gold bottle I chose the five ounce because I'm going to be using a little bit more glue today and it's just perfect for the use that I'm um, that I have today I think you're going to be using a lot more today <laughs> <laughs> I really am um, some corsage pins I like the ones that have the heads on just because they're they're longer and also toothpicks or wooden skewers and that will help you to mix. So let me show you how to get started. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, we are going to first paint all around the box and the bottom. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to paint the bottom. Good job Heidi. <laughs> and I've taped it off with the blue painters tape so that when I go to put my mixture of glue and paint, then I can, um, I can just take it off and I don't have to repaint anything. So I'm going to pull this out for a second and I'm going to put some glue and I'm going to need you to kind of help me mix the glue and the paint together. You just direct me in the right spot and I'm your little worker bee. <laughs> okay, we need um, one big glob for our base color and then I've got three other colors. Now remember, this is glue. And you really don't need quite as much. I don't even need to do, but you oh, need one. Oh, wait, one. wait. That means we can make more projects. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put. I'm going to put white paint into the white glue. Now that's going. I don't want to confuse anybody. <laughs> and why do you do that? Because if you put, if you didn't put any white paint into the white glue, you're going to have it clear when it when it dries. Because Aline's original tacky glue dries clear. Now this looks like an egg. <laughs> Sunny side up. <laughs> and you can do as many colors as you want. Um, just keep in mind that, uh, yeah, if you just start... Mix, whoops, mix, mix, mix. Just start mixing. With the skewer. D did that I works. grab the right uh -huh. tool? That works. And you got to make sure that you mix it where you don't see any of the glue. I and see. you'll have trouble because, you know, you can't see the white on white, but just keep mixing. You can kind of tell the difference between the glues over here and then the paints there. So you got to mix it all around. I, I kind of put it edge. close together, didn't I? Heidi's making scrambled eggs over yeah. there. <laughs> so it's just glue and paint. And you know, any acrylic paint that I found works. You don't have to, to have a particular brand. Any of them work? Since the theme of our project today is back to school, keep in mind the kids love to do this step. Get them involved with all of this project, but... And make sure that they mix it until there's no glue, or that you can't see the glue. See like right here, right there you can see that glue. You want to make sure that you you mix it. <laughs> and mix, all, mix, mix. Yeah, all the paints do add, um, act a little different. See how this pink is just a little grainy? It's okay, because it just, it's just a different brand. I think we're just about ready. All right, I'm not sure if I got the edge of all of this here. Uh-oh, I don't want to get fired from my job now. I just put <laughs> a little bit of that turquoise in there. That's but I think, okay. I think we're okay. Oh, you're ready for this, I aren't you? I think we're ready. So let's see if we can get it into, if I can do this right. I'll hold. Does that help? And we're going to put it into here. <laughs> How about if you hold it that way? Let me get this in. <laughs> I think I got you. Wait. Wait, let me move this down. <laughs> do, 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 do. There, there you go. go. <laughs> we need about six hands here. The magic of helpers. You really don't need six hands when you're doing this project. Just when you're, just when you're filming it. 
and see how I even went over my blue tape. See, but that that's, that's why it's good to have that yeah. blue tape there. So you're really putting a generous coat of that on. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to switch to a, a toothpick because I like, and I'm just kind of spreading it out. Spread, spread, spread. And you kind of, you have to work a little bit fast to get that smooth. How about if you add a little bit more down at the oh, end okay. there for I me? I can do that. Because it does start to... Um, well, you have, you have time to work with it, you right? You have time, uh-huh. But, you know, we're, you have a large area here. I think you mixed just the right amount, I actually. Think I too. Isn't that amazing? I must have done this before. I think so. <laughs> Isn't that funny that sometimes you kind of panic? It's like, oh my God, it's going to dry. It's not really going to dry. <laughs> Don't worry. You have plenty of time to spread it, it out. It takes a long time for it to set. Okay, let's kind of... So now shaking it down. Now the fun comes. Okay, you take the other colors that you've mixed and you just kind of glob them Drop them. Now, Is this, that a technical term? Yeah, glob. <laughs> now this particular design that I'm doing today, it just is putting dots on. You will find, the kids are going to find their own way, you're going to find your own way. You know what? Do you have enough white? You, how about taking some of that yellow and, and start um, that piece that I left over there. What I meant to say to begin with too is on this project you almost always mix a little extra. So take and always have a little piece of wood or something that you can make another um, I'll use that project. skewer now that you have oh, there you go. finished. Thanks. And then what you do is you take the next color and just do little drops. Drops. And the kids will love this because it, there's just so many possibilities to this. It just you, did you oh, have my I, pink stick? I do, I do. <laughs> Here comes some pink. There's a glob. Okay, we want a little glob down here and down here. Okay, and you're going to get some other colors. I'm working, I'm working. Okay, see how when I put more right there on that yellow one, we definitely got to spread out and it just spreads out on its own. Okay, here comes the fun part. And I'm gonna take also a wet wipe here to wipe my pen off every time I stroke through it. So we're going to take and just go through it. Oops, you gotta be able to see it though. And then pull. And I like to clean it off. See how it you said it looked it had the look of tie dye. Which that, is kind I, of a it cool does look. have the look of tie dye for me, and of course the kids love that. So, if they're making this pencil box for themselves for back to school, tie dye is a really neat effect. Look at how that you just pull through. And here, let's go to this one. Pull through. Now another thing you can do, you can do color on color. This yellow one here could take another little drop of like blue on top of it. And we could take and put even a little bit of pink. And again, draw through. love this. Every time you, you do this, it's it's fun. I mean, I've been doing it for how many years? Let and me count the years, <laughs> Heidi. Isn't that cool? How are you doing on your project? See, Let's... there's enough here. I'm going to move this for a second. There's enough here for these other colors yes. to do a lot more. Do you want to see the progress on okay. mine? I want to see yours. Look at that. Because you pulled through a lot more. So this is more marbleized. Yeah, I love that. Love, love, love that. Okay, I want to put a little bit of yellow under this pink here and draw through it. Now, there is a point where you have to stop because you have mud. We don't, we are not to that point, but with the kids as they draw through, if you draw through too much, um, you will get kind of muddy colors. So you want to make sure that they um, 
I mean, I've had adults when I've taught this that they just can't seem to stop it. They just have to keep pulling through. Walk away from the project. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> One thing I do want to point out is that that white paint, you know how we were trying to flatten it out to begin with? Look at that. It's yeah. flattened on its own. Just I didn't, during the I time didn't have you're to, working. I didn't have to tap it or anything, really. Right. And again, you can put color into color. I mean, I can just keep going and going and going. Now, when it's dry, when it starts to dry, um, it's going to probably take overnight for it to. Thank you. We'll put this down here. It's going to take overnight for it to completely dry, and um, then you would take maybe maybe a couple hours from now you'd take off your tape, and here is what you have in the morning when you take off your tape. Isn't that cool? I just love that. So when you take off the tape, you get a clean edge. You know, I had a couple little places where I didn't get the, it down, so I just took some of my paint that was on my box and just kind of touched it up, and it, just, a, just a little brush and touch up, and that's all it took. This box reminds me of a celebration. It, doesn't it? Now, here's something else. Uh, if you want to lift it up and you want legs on it, how about using bottle caps? Those are plastic water bottle caps, and you just paint them and glue them on again with the... Aline's tacky glue. There's in the eco bottle. Heidi at work. Yes. <laughs> Seems like every time I make something, I have to do eco. Huh? So one more last question on this. Okay. Do you need to seal it? Um, you know, I would seal it because I like the glossiness look. I like when it's really glossy, but um, you don't have to. But I would, and you can do a brush on gloss, or you can spray it on because I like it when it's glossy. Super cool, eco Heidi. Thank you. Heidi, this vintage Aline's technique is one of my favorites. Do I always say that? You do, but I think they are all our favorites mm -hmm. because they're they're timeless. You can just use them over and over again. And there's so many people that used to do the, the actual copper enamel in the kiln. Now, if you want to make this shiny to look at like it came out of a kiln, you're going to use the Aline's uh, gloss sealer to just spray all over it and seal it. Tell me in the official copper enamel. How is that done? I know it's done in the kiln, but with what? It's done on copper. Okay. Which, copper enameling. Right. Okay. <laughs> and it has little particles of glass and powdered glass that you put onto the little copper pieces and you put it in the kiln. And there's usually, you can buy little kilns. And you, you still can do that too. Because mm -hmm. um, I have a friend that does it and sells them in, in stores, in jewelry stores, wonderful pieces. But you put them in a kiln for, you know, however long it takes to, to melt it. And what happens is it melts the the glass powders and makes it look like that. And oh, then you can, when you go in, you can take this little wire tool when it's hot and that's how you get it to go out like that. Oh my gosh, this is so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> what were they thinking? I know. <laughs> Thank heavens for Aline's tacky glue <laughs> so that we can do something like this. Thanks, Mom. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where is she today? She's usually our audience. She's not here. So mm -hmm. thanks so much for sharing that mm -hmm. technique. and. I have tried this also. Let me give you a little hint because you can go into the archives. I've tried this with some of the other Elaine's glues mm -hmm. because you get with, I don't remember if it's fast grab or quick dry, you get a real stringy effect and it almost looked like agate. And, and a little watercolor. I mean, it, it seems to seep a lot faster too. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cool. So play with, if you want the effect that Heidi has created today, you always want to use the Elaine's original tacky mm -hmm. glue, but play with some of your other Elaine's glues and let us know what you come up with. Lots of fun.